left hand wing flap is done. That's my cutout for the um, access for the rear cockpit. So instead of going straight out there, boy, that would have been easier, but anyway, put this curve in here because that way whoever's getting in the back seat doesn't stick themselves in the back or something like that. Hopefully, that curve matches this part here. Hopefully. We'll find out one day. That'll be funny. So, yeah, next thing. Well, there's, your, there's the flap actuator bracket so the, the, uh, the tube will pick up there. And that's my next trick, I think. And there's, there's the mount for the flap. And I've folded the trailing edge over. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there you go. So, um, I don't know, it makes for a straight edge. And hopefully it stops cracking. Flaps are always getting beaten by the airflow. So I thought that might be a way out of it so hmm, cool next one remember when i was hoping last video about um, this curve that i made in the flap and i was hoping that it would match the center section well Good guesswork. We can work with that. to the fusely to the moment just trying to rig it and match it like I did with the other wing you can see again fusely tied up against this side and the wing just fits just fits not much room to play with anyway that's what we do so I've got the dimensions that I'm after now so the next trick is to finish off the center section here and then start thinking about undercarriage better than what I've got going on here, I reckon. If I'm going to land in a paddock, I think I need a little bit of suspension. Anyway, got some ideas thinking about that. So, yeah, so next be, next will be center section, uh, fuselage and center section and then go from there. But as you can see, I've got quite a bit of rearranging to do before I can start doing any more. So that's the next thing. So wings, I've got final numbers will be one degree dihedral. And I've got two degree washout across the whole wing. I still gotta make wing tips. I still gotta make the leading edge slats yet. And fuel system. So the fuel system, obviously the tank will go, go in this bit here. So I'm still tossing up whether to have two tanks feeding the engine or have a third third tank, like a header tank down in down in here, like 20 litres or something like that. 30 litres maybe as a header tank. Um, gets me my four hours range and a few other little things. So we'll think, think a bit more about that. Um, it's still got a bit to do with the cockpit. Finish all that off. Some instruments would be nice and some bits and pieces but um, yeah now that we've got the wings all sorted that'll be the next thing but yes got some rearranging to do first uh, what else that's about it really for this one hopefully hopefully proper undercarriage soon that'd, that'd look cool all right Watch this space. <laughs>